Hello, hello, hey, hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Alright, so in today's video, we will be doing something very interesting, something that I really wanted to do for a very long time. However, I just don't have the material and the time for it. Fortunately, a few days ago, I found these pine wood at the trash of my house. And I was thinking that these are good materials, these are good woods. And someone just throw it away because I think it's broken. Let me show you a clip. So I want to show you guys what I found at the trash area at my apartment, which is something that is, I think we can make something out of it. So someone just threw this away. So this is trash. I don't know what it is. I think it's some kind of like a hanger. Uh, we have three of them. One more is like a short one down there. And I believe we can make something out of this. All right, so right now we have three of this wood that I found from the trash. And today we are going to make a very, very tall floor lamp. So these three woods will be like a stand, like a tripod stand. And now it's time to shop for the lamp shade. So we went to Ikea and shop for the one that we like. All right, what are we getting? The Majna. That one. All right, so right now we are looking for a lamp shade. And this is the one that caught our eye because I'm gonna make this stand on my own. So we just want something very nice. Inga, what do you think about that? Yes, we're gonna get this one. I'm actually gonna build something like this, but I don't want it to be so messy. Look at that, like the wire is everywhere. So I'm gonna still make the three triangle thingy tripod. But instead of this one, we're gonna use this one. So we bought this from Ikea. This is the Majna lamp shade. It costs about 100 ringgit. And this was supposed to be like a hanging pendant light. So what I will be doing today is turning this into a floor lamp. I will try my best on how to attach this to the tripod stand as the floor lamp. So this is the final result of the Majna. We love it very much. It looks pretty fluffy but at the same time it is very sturdy as well. Because the design of the tripod stand will be something very rigid, very straight line. We want something with curves so that it will jive nicely. And of course a floor lamp will not be complete without some wiring. So you guys can buy this from Ikea as well but I bought this from Shopee. Link will be in the description down below. So this is like a wiring light, so they have the plug right over here and the switch right over here and this is where you put your light bulb. And this is pretty long as well, so we can reach to the top and go through the floor and to the plug point. And the best part about it, I bought this for 7 ringgit only. Yes, I bought this for 7 ringgit at Shopee. Link in the description down below. And lastly, I'll be needing a saw and also my screwdriver from Bosch. Alright, so first thing first, I'm gonna take the tripod stand. So this one is about 6 feet tall. However, if you don't have this kind of wood, you guys can go to the hardware store and buy super cheap wood. I believe that one wooden rod like this can cost you about 5 ringgit each. So right now, what I'm going to do is basically detach this from this middle piece right over here using my screwdriver. Alright, so right now in my hand, I have this three wooden rod and at the same time, I have this one piece that is very odd but I believe this could be something very functional to piece this together. So right now what I'll be doing, I'll be cutting this and we will keep the circular shape right over here for us to put the light bulb. So this thing will hold this like that on top of it. I will probably hot glue gun it for it to stick together. For the bottom part right here, I'm going to make an odd circular shape because I am using a hand saw. It is really hard to make a circular shape. I will probably make a triangle. So I'll be needing one a larger one and one a smaller one. So this one will basically hold the three pieces together. So I have cut the pieces, so don't judge me because using a handsaw is really really hard. I am going to invest in an electrical jigsaw. So this is the first part that I will keep. So I will show you guys how this one will work. It will look something like this. 
So what I will be doing, I will be hot gluing the bottom part of the circular section and put the wire on top. I will be using a super super strong Gorilla hot glue gun for this to stick, so don't worry about it. Alright, so this is the part where I say don't judge me because the bottom part, it looks something like this. Yes, one is a triangle, one is almost a circle. So this one is a bigger piece, this one is a small piece. So this one will look something like that. So these two pieces will basically hold the three tripod together at the top. So the smaller one at the top and slightly bigger one at the bottom. So let's see how it goes, whether it holds nicely or not. It is very sturdy, you can literally see that it is sturdy. However, it doesn't look so good up close, but this is where this will come in handy. I will wrap around the top part right here with this macrame cord to cover this up. By the way, just to let you guys know, if you guys really want to do something like this but don't have the wood that I have, you guys can easily use this kind of wood. This is basically a mop handle like this, but once you take the plastic off, wooden texture that is, I, which I feel that it is pretty nice. So right now over here, you can see that I have glue gun the entire pack. This is, I, I was being very generous with the glue to make sure that it holds everything perfectly. Over here, I have installed one screw that will be screwing it on the tripod. I will make another one right over here as well. So I want to show you guys how I hide the wire. Right over here, you can see that the wire holder has been placed. It's like throughout until the end over here. So from the front side, we can't see anything. So it keeps everything very smooth, clean, and tidy. All right, right now it's time for me to put this on. I will not be gluing anything to this lampshade right over here because I believe the flap right over here can easily slid in between the tripod stand so it will hold everything in place. Alright, so right now I have installed the lampshade. So right now what I'll be doing, I'll be covering this ugly part right over here with a white macrame cord. You can see right behind me the floor lamp is pretty much done but right now i'm gonna talk to you about something that just came into the mail today this is a smart led bulb from ye light this is a sub brand from xiaomi and as you guys know if you guys follow me on my social media i love xiaomi products very 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 much i have their vacuum i have their xiaomi android box i have their bedside lamp and this is the first time I'm gonna try the Yi light. Yes, this is a smart light bulb because you can control it from your phone or, or even you have a Google Home or Alexa or even Siri. So let's try this together. So right now, I'm going to show you guys how I test out the Yi light connected to my iPhone. So I have installed the Yi light and right now I have connected it into my iPad. See, living room light, I put it right over here. And from here, I can show you guys how you can actually control the brightness of it. And any color that you like, see I put red, now it is red. Or you can change into any color that you like, let's say green, it will turn into green. And if you press blue, it will turn into blue. And there are many shades of color over here that you can choose from. And for the temperature wise, it's either you want the cooling or the warmth color. I prefer the warmth for my living room. And yep, look at that. And also if you have a Google Home, it is powered by Google Home as well. And also for Alexa. So you can use Siri for iPad or iPhone if you are using iOS. Let me just say, hey Siri, turn the living room light blue. Okay, blue. 
Ta-da, there you go. All right, right now I have blocked the curtain so it is slightly more brighter, you can see. And now I'm gonna test my Siri again for the second time. Hey Siri, turn the living room light into turquoise. There you go, and I can try for other color as well. And the best part about it, you can just say, Hey Siri, turn the living room light off. Ta da! Alright, all right, I guess that is all from me for today's video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. And yes, don't forget to follow me on all of my other social media platforms down in the description down below. And also, all the products that I've used in this video, I will put the Shopee link in my description down below so you guys can shop for it too. Alright, so that is all from me for today's video. Then, bye!